And it's always nice, especially, you know, everyone, a lot of groups, a lot of organizations, a lot of uh, people have struggled in the last year and a half thanks to COVID. The arts community, which is always very vibrant in Connecticut, is one of them. And yet, amidst all of that, you never know we can open up a theater at the same time. The streets of Stony Creek in Brantford, they are beautiful. And yet, they are also the home of a theater that's new, but actually quite old. Take a look. You'd never know that the streets of Stony Creek once were a central point for theater in New England. That's about to happen again. In this building, a legacy is continuing, the Legacy Theater. You've had this theater for over 100 years, so I'm moving in. That's Keely Knudsen, artistic director, a former child performer who studied theater and toured all around the world. After years in New York City, she settled here. And I had traveled the world at that point, and I thought if I could settle anywhere, it would be Connecticut. So she did. Taught at QU, met her husband, started a family, and now comes her biggest baby, the birth of not just any theater, a legacy. So this building, um, in 1903, it was, uh, it was erected as a silent picture house. They would have a piano player, and they would... Um, do you know the, the black and white movies and, and audiences would come. Now the curtain rises on a technological masterpiece. Lights, camera, even plexiglass these days. We have one of the most technologically advanced small theaters really in the United States. Um, motorized rigging, every light you could dream of, you know, excellent sound and you know, these beautiful fixed seats. There's a lot of history here in this theater, including a few very famous people that spent a lot of time, not just here in Brantford, but in this building. And iconic figures like Orson Welles um, and Joseph Cotton. Yes, Orson Welles had a theater company called the Mercury Players. And, and he played here. He played here. Wow. This was their summer theater. His photo sits outside in the windows, along historical photos of the building's history. But that's just one director of many. Just Desserts, a musical comedy about a bake-off, made its world premiere here last month. I can't see Orson <laughs> Welles doing that. No, this is not very Wellian. <laughs> no. The theater will be home to shows and classes, but for Newtson now, the Legacy Theater is home to dreams coming true. People have used the phrase, you know, beyond your wildest dreams. I've heard that often, but I, now I feel it. Quite a legacy down in Stony Creek, which is like one of my favorite, favorite hidden jewels of Connecticut, although I don't want to give that secret up. Uh, if you're interested, go check them out. They've got shows running all throughout the uh, the fall. It seats about 125, so every seat's going to be a good one. And everything, as you saw in the story, is technologically savvy, so things are really, really cool and new for a very old theater. All right.